morning welcome to another vlog today is monday i mean no i'm sorry today is tuesday august the first i'm sitting here at my desk about to um welcome to a new vlog did i say that welcome to a new vlog <laughs> if you've never been here before welcome if you've been here before welcome back i'm gabrielle so i am sitting here about to actually do my calendar I have to fill it in every month. I love this little acrylic um, calendar. It comes with this little stand right here. And it just sits in a little stand like that. And it sits on the desk. I like it. It actually lights up. I should cut the cord off, but I haven't. So I'm about to do that and kind of plan out my week. Because like I said, school is starting. I'm about to crank my real estate back up. Um, I want to be more consistent with my YouTube videos. So yeah, I am doing that today. I'm a little, getting a little late start because you know, um, we actually just got back from out of town yesterday from our last little summer vacation. And then I have another vacation coming up in, is it August? No, September. And then another vacation in November. And then we're deciding right now whether or not we're going to go to Orlando for Christmas, which we've been doing that for the last two years. So I'm just trying to, you know, get my life like etched out because I got a lot going on and I know a lot more is about to be going on. So I just want to start prioritizing and get myself back in order. It's about to be fall soon. So, you know, just trying to get some things in order. This is my little book that I write all my stuff in. And it says, and she never gave up. Got this from, I believe I got this from Home Goods. But um, I like it got lines and stuff like that. So I like, I like this book a lot. I have a few of these little books around here that I write little things in. So yeah. So that's all I'm doing at this moment. I'm craving a sandwich. I have got to get me a sandwich from Subway today. That's Priority. Oh, and I got the guts to go wash my car because we drove my car out of town. And if, if you've never been here before and I've never talked to you all about my car or you didn't watch the vlog where I talk about how I like to keep my car clean, I have to keep my car clean. And I washed it and cleaned the inside of it before we left. But of course, on the road, like I don't have small kids, so it's not like food and crumbs is everywhere. But of course, like the bug splatter on the front, you know, it just it's dirty now. So I'm, I'm about to go clean my car. Um, like I said, go to Subway. I really need to go grocery shopping, but y'all just do not feel like it. It was a time where I really, really actually enjoyed grocery shopping. So that's another thing I need to do is plan out our meals because I need to get back on my like healthier eating. And that's what tends to happen. Like if you don't plan your meals out or you know if you don't really grocery shop and you tend to buy um restaurant food you don't buy the healthiest i mean because you can't really control what they put in the food and i'm just getting to the point where i don't want restaurant food i rather cook but that's all i really got going on today i'm about to make a couple of phone calls i'm about to get this dead plant off my porch y'all i bought this plant probably two months ago it's been about two months. I paid like 50 bucks for this plant. Did it all up. But I knew, I knew, I knew, I knew when we left and we were gone for what? We were going Thursday through Monday. So nobody was watering the plant. I didn't have anybody to come by, water the plant, a neighbor, nothing. So the plant was just out there dry for four days. I knew I was going to come back to a dead plant. It, it, I mean, like, you know, the fall is coming up, so I know it's about to be mom's season. So I'm going to get me a nice full mom to put in there. And moms usually last a good little while. So I'm going to do that. But I think in the interim between, like, it still being summer and then fall, I'm going to go get a fern. I think ferns maybe just only need a little bit of water. I don't know. I'm not good with plants. That's why in my house I have two artificial plants. I know my I know my weaknesses and I know my strong suits and being a plant mom is not for Gabrielle. Okay, so I'm gonna stay in my lane on that one. I wanted to of course come in and start the vlog off, talk to you all, 
um i hope this month the rest of this year we about to knock it out strong y'all Time takes a toll on everyone, they say Time is merciless, it won't wait for us to change Time, I am stressing out, I can't figure out what to say Oh, time, just give us time Time, looking back on pictures and I find it hard to see you. I also have another one of those calendars on my refrigerator here that I keep. And I have to use this one to, um, <laughs> for my daughters now. Y'all know my kids are 16 and 22, but the only chore they really have is to um, clean the kitchen and I don't know and they do it on a weekly basis but for some reason they seem to not be able to know which week is their week so uh -oh, y'all can't even see so I have to write it out okay this plan is y'all <laughs> it's no coming back oh my gosh yeah it was nice while it lasted mm. look at her she looking at golly and I need to get it out so I can put it in the trash so it can go out, you know, with the trash. Because today is already Tuesday. Our trash day is Thursday. So, but yeah, it is done for. Like if I see a lady and I don't know why women aren't like this some women I guess are like competitive or um, I don't know I don't I'm not like this so I, I can't begin to tell you why but like if I see a lady who hair is pretty or her outfit is cute I have no shame in going up to somebody and telling them hey your hair is cute or you know I like such and such I have absolutely no problem telling somebody that the same as if you know like I just saw a young lady um, at the car while she was washing her car and of course she didn't know I so happened to look because she was bent over and I looked in my mirror about to take off and notice like she had a huge 
hole in the butt part of her pants and she didn't have on underwear so in my because she was so close in my mirror like literally you can see her butt cheeks through this <laughs> through her pants so sometimes it's like you know some people don't seem approachable but i just couldn't have i just wouldn't even feel right pulling off and seeing her or knowing that she had this hole in her pants and ain't no telling where else she probably been and someone have seen it and did not tell her or where she going and someone wouldn't tell her like to me i i do on to people as i would want people to do on to me my mother was like a stick when i tell you that stuck my mama would say that all the time you do on to people you do on to others as you would want them to do on to you like and i wholeheartedly really that's one thing i mean of many but like i that's a that's i live by that literally live by that in all aspects of my life like all aspects so you know i'm just saying all of this to say if you see somebody out with something embarrassing to them let them know or opposite if you see a lady or a man sometimes you got to be a little you know i don't know you got to be a little skeptical with the men because i'm you know i know for me i do because i'm married and i don't want to give off the wrong impression but be nice be kind if you see somebody and you like the hair tell them you don't know how that man make their day like or if you see an outfit or a lady like anything like just let 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 the ladies know especially us sisters like we got to start doing that more often we cannot be feeling like we can't pat each other on a back or you know compliment one another why not why not you you never know how that makes somebody's day so i'm just saying all that to say try it and see you might make somebody's day and believe it or not somebody might say it to you and make yours too Good morning y'all today is wednesday i was supposed to have been going grocery shopping into costco but a nordstrom rack is right across the street so uh -oh. and i made my way to nordstrom rack which was not the best idea i just left out of tj Maxx. they didn't have nothing i'm still on the hunt for like house stuff right now but uh oh the weird one is stuff. We're on the basket, don't worry. Oh, but I just had to peek my head in here and see what they had because why not? And let's see. So I finally made it into Costco. I didn't bring y'all into the beginning process because I had to renew my membership. But did y'all know that um, Costco sells? Centaur 33, let me show y'all. If anybody knows, Centaur 33 is a perfume, cologne, I believe it's unisex, but let me show y'all. That's a nice Ferragamo watch too. I don't know why I decided to come in Costco knowing I'm this hungry. I'm like starving. Not the best idea but I'm going to come in and get what I need to get and get out because it's not as crowded as it would be on the weekend, but of course, it's always crowded. And if I get to looking around, I'm gonna start picking up stuff that I'm not supposed to get. pick up snacks and things like that though my daughter doesn't take lunch per se but she will take snacks and I prefer to for her to take snacks from home so that she can have healthier 
options than what is in the vending machine. So, I don't wanna even go in there, it's freezing in there. I've not been to Costco probably in like a year. And I usually just get toilet paper, paper towel, things like that, which that's what I'm in here for today. And believe it or not, I actually only have to get that um, maybe once every, it's been maybe about eight months. So, I'm going to stock up today and I won't be back until next year. So let, me, let me get what I'm going to get. Good morning. Good morning. Today is Saturday. My shorts are too big. How about these last year? I think these might be a size 14 or 16. But your girl is in a 12. Respectfully. <laughs> but oh, today is Saturday. I didn't. I have not been out of the house since Wednesday, I think. Yesterday, Friday, I didn't leave the house. Um, Thursday, I think I only went to get a car wash in like one other place. So I haven't been doing anything. This is the first time I've picked up the camera since I think Tuesday. So today is Saturday. It's about 11 o'clock or so in the morning. I really had plans to be out of here by 10, but I slept in today. This week was my daughter's first week of school. So I'm kind of getting myself acclimated with getting up early in the morning um and staying up so i've been getting up at 5 30 every morning got to get back on my workout stuff i worked out this week once or once not twice once so next week i'm gonna be on it i'm actually going to incorporate some different kind of workouts but nonetheless me and my baby is on our way i'm sure she's gonna be acting like she don't want to be on camera today but we are um on our way to the mall i'm actually gonna stop by cb2 outlet i've been there before when they first first opened and when i tell you their stuff was trash the prices were still to me quite expensive to be an outlet store but they had like additional like something off um like in store and things like that but the furniture when i say was so raggedy like it was a lot of chips broken like and it was in places that um you couldn't fix so some things it's like okay you can buy it it's broken and it's easy to fix no their stuff was literally raggedy and this is when they first opened so i haven't been back since but i'm gonna go today and funny enough i got an email this morning that they got 40 percent off limited time today so the in store like i said it's an outlet so you already get the additional cost you know the additional price off the price is already reduced but then now today they have an additional 40% off because like I told y'all, I'm looking for a chair for my new desk that'll be coming from CB2. And then also I'm looking for a kitchen, a new kitchen table and chairs. So that's that. But I'm rambling, telling y'all all the business. But I got this shirt from Target. These shorts are old and I just have on my Steve Madden slides and then I switched my purse. This is my favorite summer purse because it's leather. The other one is like a like a linen nylon type of material. So sometimes you have to be careful with that. I don't like to wear it too much because I'm scared that it'll get stained. This one easy to wipe down. So this is a little outfit. I'm still rocking my braids. I may take them out tomorrow. Not sure. My husband's birthday is Monday. We're going to dinner so I may take them out before then. Um I'm almost certain that I would be taking them out. So she's sitting over here staring at me, basically rushing me. But yeah, got on this little outfit. We about to go and I'll take y'all along with us and I'll show y'all what CB2 had. Also, we're going to go to the home goods over there because that's one of the better home goods outside of my area. And we're going to go to Zara too, y'all. So we, we just about to hit a couple stores. Come on, let's go. This is what it's called. A simple find consignment designer outlet mall they have like if you're familiar with Atlanta and you've been to West Side Market it's like a better version of West Side Market um, they have different booths set up where different owners own the booth and they have their own stuff so they sell furniture hello they sell furniture clothing items jewelry you name it they have it
I need to know If you are serious Serious about us Yeah Baby, your love is cold But I don't feel the trust Something's not adding up What you been up to? Drinking all night Who sat right by your side? Why don't you tell me now? Oh, why you calling me late at night? Saying you need a ride when you don't tell me why. I got a thing about you. You got a thing about me too. But you keep playing with my feelings, even though you know I got a thing about you. We got a thing for each other. So don't go. My goodies I'll show y'all which I, I just showed y'all but I'll show you more um, of what it is when I get home but love what I found so happy with this purchase $26.99. See, like, mm -mm. look at this. But I wouldn't pay $700 for it. I just, I don't know. Look at this. For that price, or all this,
mean, that's about the most decent, but look at this one. And that kind of stuff don't come out. Like I told y'all before we came in, everything in store is 40% off here at the Crate and Barrel Outlet. So I'm considering this chair, which is $4.29 and it's 40% off. So it's like $2.50, $2.57, basically like $260. But the issue that I have is like a lot of their furniture is extremely dirty and like I just can't get over that. Some, Not everything. Like, this is the good kind of stuff you can buy out of here. Metal, you know, things like that. And even still, this has imperfections in it. But, like, something like this. This is, I think this one is the most decent looking. Um, my husband's company can clean it. So I'm just trying to kind of look to see if there's anything. It's a very heavy, sturdy chair. Don't get me wrong. So I'm just trying to see what all the imperfections are in this one. See, like that's a little dirty. And this comes from them handling it and stuff like that in the warehouse. Just throwing this stuff every which way. And I don't know. I'm not, I like it, but I'm not 100% sold on that. Not for $250. $260 and then I still gotta hope that whatever is on there dirty comes clean so that's probably gonna be a no for me rose gold kind of no it's a dog in here Laura let me get out of here this is a zoo okay so we are back in the car I tried to give Crate and Barrel Outlet the benefit of the doubt and let them redeem themselves from the first time that I went in there when I tell you first of all it's only very few couches that are actually a whole couch um, some of those couches are like piece where the sec sectional pieces is missing. So like you might have one part where it's the arm on or you might see another part where the arm is off. And not to mention just about everything has some type of damage, some type of imperfection. And I'm not talking about like I don't mind buying stuff because I know it's outlet, but their outlet prices are still a bit pricey for the furniture like i don't mind buying things that may you know like you we go to home goods sometime and they give us 10 percent off something that's damaged but you're only you're only wanting to buy it because you know that it can be fixed like you can't fix a cement table and the edge of the table is cracked you can't fix that or you can't fix dented metal on an arm or a leg of a of a i mean the leg of a table or the leg of a chair you can't fix those things so it's like I really don't know the purpose of this store. Maybe it's me personally, but if you live here in Atlanta and you visited the Crate and Barrel Outlet here on, what are we on, Peachtree Industrial Road, tell me what your opinion is about it. Would you or would you not buy things from this outlet? Because for me, it's a no, unless I find something that, like I said, does not have any imperfections or if the imperfections are in a place that I know that I can repair them or if it's a spot in the couch because like I said, my husband can clean the upholstery well, his, his, his company can, but everything can't come out. So even with that, you're taking a chance. But let me know down below what y'all think about this Crate and Barrel outlet because for me, it's an absolute hell no. <music> I'm back at home. It's probably about 7.30. Um, like I told you earlier, me and my daughter went to the mall. We went to Home Goods. Um, we went to the antique store. I did not vlog when we were in Home Goods, and I did not vlog when we were in the mall. If you know anything about Perimeter Mall on a Saturday, no. <clears throat> it was not going to happen. It was too, too packed. But I did pick up some good things, and I'm going to show you all what I picked up. Um, my daughter... I got her a couple of things too. Of course, she's not gonna come in here and show y'all what she picked up. But um, let me show y'all what I picked up. Some good, good sales. So let me show y'all. So I picked up these slides. Let me show you up close. And they have like this metallic denim. Now, if you know Zara, Zara have a skirt that's made like this too. And I believe they have the pants. But this is the shoe version of it. And it's like that metallic silver, like denim look. So I thought these were cute. They were 
70 bucks basically and i feel like i would get my cost per wear with these because they pretty much will go with everything they were to me a little pricey but i just feel like i know i'll wear them and like i said they go with a lot of things so yeah i thought these were cute and they were the last ones in my size so i feel like they were meant for me <laughs> I also picked this shirt up from H&M. It was $24.99. I thought the colors were pretty. Um, it's just kind of simple, but I had in mind these shoes, which I got mm, probably like at least probably two months ago. I've never worn them. Um, there are some new balances. And I thought like the red with the blue with just a pair of jeans would be cute. I also picked up this all white jogging suit with the elastic at the bottom from H&M. The shirt was $20.99 and the pants were $17.99. So just a white jogging suit. Okay, so Zara, we back to Zara. I got, like I said, I got those shoes from Zara, but y'all, okay. Look at the price for this coat. You see, 119, right? Look what I got it for. Could not leave it. Let me try it on for y'all. So cute. And like I said, I'm getting ready for fall, so. Okay, sorry I had to bring out of my bathroom. The lighting in here is a little bit better. Like I said, it's getting dark. It's like dust dawn outside, so. But yeah, but this is where it comes to me, where it comes on me, like right up under the knee love the fit i love this coat so many people was trying to get it when i was in line the lady was like oh you found a good one yes regularly 119 dollars and i got this jacket for 19.99 refused to leave 20 bucks so cute okay so the next coat i got you see this 169 this coat was 169 bucks regularly 29 dollars 29 dollars let me show y'all this one now this one is long it's more um trench it's a trench coat so love the length love the sleeves Love the detail on the sleeves, which they're just buttoned down. It's buttoned down in the back. As you can see, buttoned down in the back. And like I said, with this one, it comes like right above my ankle. Let me show y'all. This one is a bit longer. See, this one comes down, like I said, right above my ankle. But love the fit. Love that it has pockets. Like I showed you the detailing in the back and that comes all the way down. So cute for 30 bucks, regularly $169. And I got this coat for $29.99. Who was leaving what? Not me. <laughs> Love this. Love the detailing in the sleeve. Such a good purchase. Like this was a good purchase. And I've been looking, if you go to H&M right now, they have one at H&M, but it's a short with the drawstring. That was my dilemma with buying trench coats last year is that not the drawstring, but the, but the belt. I don't like trench coats with belts. To me, they just, I don't like that. It gives like, I don't know. I don't know. I just, I don't personally like any coats with belts. Let me just say that. That's just not my thing. So when I saw this one, and it's like the buttons are not in the middle. Like the buttons are kind of like over to the side. I don't know. I just like the details in this coat. I think this is just a nice coat to have. And again, look how the neck is made. If you button it. Love that. I don't have it buttoned, but you get, get just. Goodbye. 30 bucks. Love it. I'm happy. I was actually looking for something like this to go on my desk when I get it. I got this from Home Goods. 
The next thing I picked up, um, I actually picked it up from that antique store, which I showed you all. But the ladies there were just so, so excited for me. <laughs> and when they told me, I was excited for me too. But it is this perfume bottle. And she was like, this is a Waterford. Do you know about a Waterford? I'm like, no, I don't know about a Waterford. But I just thought it was pretty. It has a tassel. And I'm going to put like an expensive fragrance in here, like a fragrance that I don't wear all the time, something that I wear like on a date night or like for special occasions. So, you know, when I'm putting it on, it's like, you know, it just zhuzh it up. It just give a little special something. And then the next thing I got, she wrapped it so good. She wrapped it in bubble wrap. She wrapped it in paper. She was making sure that nothing happened to this. Um, with getting it home or wherever I was taking it. She was making sure that it was going to make it. <laughs> and I appreciate that. But I got a glass ladle. Is it ladle? 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 You know, you use this for punch and then you... But look at that. Pristine condition. Love this. I was looking for a crystal bun uh, punch bowl when I was in there, but they didn't have any, but I'm sure I'll come across one. But I was just too happy to find a glass ladle, ladle. Y'all tell me what it is, but love this. And it was only 20 bucks. So of course I had to grab it. So get your punch and you pour it. You get your punch. And you pour it. <laughs> Too excited. So much to thank God for. Oh, no, no. If they don't testify back to you, find somebody to testify. Say, I got so much to thank him for. Let me tell you something. This morning, as our deacons prepare to serve you this morning, I want you to understand the power and the principle of coming to the Lord's table. 